It is April 12th, 2023, and you are watching The Code Report. Angular is and always will be the greatest framework to ever grace the JavaScript landscape, but it can't seem to get no respect. Back in 2010, AngularJS was the first framework to popularize the idea of declarative components, but React gets all the respect. In 2014, when Vue.js came out, it was basically just Angular Lite. When Angular 2 embraced TypeScript back in 2016, everybody laughed at it and said TypeScript was for Microsofty losers, but Angular gets no respect for being light years ahead of its time. Everybody loves Svelte stores, but guess who was doing reactive patterns like that years before with RxJS? A framework called Angular that gets no respect. Boy, that's the story of my life, no respect. People on the internet love to hate it, but Angular is still extremely popular with professional developers and enterprise, second only to React. Over the last five years, its focus has been on reliability and stability, and as a result, it stopped pumping out game-changing features. But in 2023, many people are forecasting an Angular renaissance, because the framework is in the process of introducing the biggest change it's seen in years, with a new feature called Signals. The framework was sick and tired of getting no respect, so now it's turning the tables and implementing a feature inspired by frameworks like Preact, SolidJS, and Vue. Before we get into it though, I want to explain something important. The JavaScript framework wars are largely an illusion. Although they do compete for the mindshare of developers, the creators and maintainers all go to the same conferences, hang out together, and work together. Like Mishko, the creator of Angular, is now working on the Quick framework, which itself uses signals. When you see people bashing a free and open source framework, it's usually just the result of tribalism. And paradoxically, we're more tribal than ever, thanks to the social media that connects us all. But the reality is that all these frameworks collaborate to make web development better for all of us. And for that, they all deserve our respect. The only exception is React, which is a piece of and I hope it where the doctor's like until it has to use itself as a but uh, what are Angular signals exactly? A signal is a new reactive primitive, or data structure, that can handle values that change over time, like the state of your application. Currently, Angular uses a library called ZoneJS to handle state changes in your application. It works in a kind of magical way to track various browser events, then automatically check the component tree when a change might have happened. It's nice because you don't need hooks like setState in React, but it can lead to performance issues, and also weird edge cases like the dreaded expression changed after it's been checked error. But now with signals, change detection will be much more precise and surgical. That's a nice benefit, but Angular is already tightly integrated with RxJS, which has things like observables and behavior subjects that on the surface look very similar to signals. They're both capable of handling a stream of values that change over time. With an observable though, you need to call a subscribe method. A signal on the other hand, you call directly like a function. That may seem trivial, but it dramatically simplifies the way things are done in Angular. For example, to create computed values, you kind of need to be an RxJS wizard who understands observables and behavior subjects, and and then how to pipe in different operator functions to map one value to another. This code can get extremely complex and requires Hungarian notation with dollar signs at the end just to keep things straight. Signals, on the other hand, can use this computed function to make the code more concise and readable. The same is true for side effects, which can be executed with this effect function. Signals can also be writable, which means you can change the value manually with either set or update. So overall, this provides a much more approachable API for handling reactive data, not much different than solid or Vue.js. However, signals are still fully compatible with RxJS for handling more complex streams of data. Overall, signals look awesome, but that's not the only cool thing about modern Angular. One of its most hated features was the ng module, which you had to learn about before you could even build a damn component, but now it supports standalone components to eliminate this requirement. In addition, there are projects like Analog Gaming Steam, which is a Next.js-like meta framework with file system routing for SSR. So to end this video, I'll leave you with a question. Is Angular a great framework or the greatest framework of all time? This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.